Hey guys, Crystal here. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a short little video on how to make a perfect uh, faith route layout post patch. So, uh, the latest patch that they did a little while back uh, did change the way that the shrinking mechanics work in the game. So, uh, building size has uh, adjusted a little bit. Uh, it's kind of now got a smart sense to it. So I'm going to show you how to set up a perfect uh, faith route layout for your uh, prayer temples. Uh, the faith route is a little bit different than the order route because uh, the buildings match the tent sizes. But on faith, uh, the temples of prayer do not match the house sizes. So I'm going to walk you through uh, how to set up a good... Uh, layout for faith right now and let's just go ahead and get started so uh, the first thing you're going to be doing at the beginning of the game is uh, building your main buildings around the generator here and you want to make sure you don't have any roads blocking it just build your first uh, houses as normal but uh, leave room right here for one house you can make it and delete it. Just make sure that third one is empty. Uh, for the first uh, 15 days of your game, before you get to Winter Home, you can set these as medical posts, but uh, these are going to be changed in a little while, so I'm going to leave them blank for now. Uh, but yeah, that's the first row there. So I'm going to go ahead and make some roads around here. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is extend your roads out here. It doesn't have to be too far, and you can go one row at a time as you're going, but what you want to do is divide your uh, housing district, your, sorry, your housing layout into districts, like so, every two houses. This is going to allow you to uh, mess with what's going on here and. Uh, if you have them out about yay far, you're good. So, how many road tiles is that? One, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten road tiles is the most that you'll need from the generator. So, there you go. Now, for the second row, what I'm going to do is, once you have those in place, right next to the stockpile, it doesn't matter which side you start on, I'm going to start on the right side. Next row, place two, leave a spot in the middle there. Same for this district over here. We're doing this for a specific reason. There's your second row. Now for the third row, sorry we're going to delete this for the third row. You need to make sure there's not a middle road connecting about three tiles right here. You're going to make the first tent on each side. Then grab a tent, pull back one, move over two, and place a tent here. And make a road tile on the front half of that. Now you must delete this tent before you do it on the other side or else it's going to stretch the buildings and this won't work. So pull back, go two over, and mark the front tile of the building here. Now one thing you'll note is that the houses of prayer are the same size as the workshops. So you can use your workshop to check if this will fit here, and it does and I'll show you that they're the same size. Here's your faith building and those do fit in there. So that will work. What this is going to do is allow you to make a space for your houses of prayer later. Once those two lines are marked in, you can just set your middle three buildings right here. Now what you want to do and the reason we left this uh, spot blank here, so you can snap to this grid right here. Come back to this spot, mark out one road tile here, and then mark out one road tile here. And the reason we're doing this is so we have a perfect placement for our steam hubs, and we're going to put those on the back of the two road tiles here. You'll see there are two dots. There's one here and one here and we put the steam hub on the back of it. 
So now that we've got the Steam Hub placed, we can go ahead and delete that, delete that, delete that, and delete that. That's the hard part. We can go ahead and connect this road over here. We're going to make one little road in the middle connecting this, and we're going to reconnect this up. For the back two areas, next row, we're going to put two on each side, leaving the middle one blank again. Same on this other district. And for the last row, we can just do them all. We can now fill in this uh, middle part on the second row. And now I'm going to show you guys uh, why I left the spots blank that I did. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward just a little bit while these guys uh, build some stuff. Don't care. Whatever. So, these steam hubs are going to be at range 1, not range 2. I did forget to put the outer road here. It's okay, we'll do that now. Okay. So, the reason I left these two spots blank right here is for fighting arenas. And this spot also in the front for a fighting arena after you place your medical post later. We can now place the House of Prayer right here and right here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Boom. This is exactly 35 tenths, 36 if you include this other one over here. And it has 100% House of Prayer coverage in just two districts, as well as 100% fighting arena coverage with just three. We can do the same on the other half, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to mute the audio and just run through this very quickly so you guys can uh, see just how easy it is when I'm uh, not blabbing to you. So, here we go.
Alright, so that's how you set it up. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, just so I can show you the end result of what we did here. Let's go ahead and set these uh, steam hubs to one so I can show you something. Alright, so, uh, we finished our layout here. It's a pretty nice layout. Uh, at range one steam hub, this hits every single tent except for four on each side. Two in the middle here and these two edge ones. Uh, at steam hub range two, it'll actually hit all of them. But I do find it easier just to overlap the steam hubs out here on top of those tents later. And you can usually just build these ones last, so you're not going to need 70 tents right away. But uh, as you'll notice, this is exactly 70 tents. And the maximum population uh, that you can reach in your city is 690 something, and you will need exactly 70 tents in a no death playthrough. So this layout gives you 100% fighting arena coverage with just six fighting arenas and 100% Temple of Prayer coverage with just four. This is one of the best layouts I've ever uh, figured out how to create. Uh, there might be a better one out there, but this one works pretty darn well, and that is uh, pretty much how I create it. So if you want to uh, really up your uh, coverage of your buildings, you can set these to range two, and we'll fast forward just a tiny bit. All of your buildings are now heated, and that's what it'll look like with just four steam hubs. You've got almost half the map coverage here, so... It's pretty darn effective, it looks pretty nice, and that's about all there is to this tutorial. So, um, yeah, if you guys want me to do another video on like the stockpile district, we can do that sometime, but that's a pretty good layout for uh, Faith Route. So, I'll show you a little grid outline of what it looks like so you can screenshot if you need to. So, this is what the road layout looks like. Each two districts are uh, mirror images of each other, with the only house right here being overlapping a little bit between two districts. Uh, this allows you to get the perfect 70 amount of the perfect amount of 70 houses. This is also the minimal amount of roads. Well, not minimal. You don't actually need these two uh, roads here, but this helps your uh, frames per second by not putting roads everywhere in the middle because roads are what kill the frames in this game, so th this is a minimalistic setup, so this will work for you, and this other side is a mirror replica of the other side. Works pretty well. We've got our fighting arena here, 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 house of prayer here, and here. Same on the other side, house of prayer here and here, fighting arena here, here, in here. Now basically these fighting arenas early in the game you can set those as your medical posts and then when you move your medical posts later you can switch them to uh, fighting arenas so uh, and any of these houses uh, can be used as medical post locations while you're making your layout they're good placeholder buildings that you're gonna need anyway so hey two for one right Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helps you all enjoy uh, Faith Routes a little more optimally. Uh, so, yeah. Y'all take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.